All right, today I am taking a look at a private select single barrel. Uh, the latest it just hit stores. It's called Matchstick, and it's got and you can you can see it here, but I'll read them off. So the blend of staves is one baked American pure. That's one of my favorites. Three seared French cuvee, one Maker's Forty Six, three roasted French Mendiant and two toasted French spice. Um, so it's kind of across the board mix, um, a little more of the kind of roasted flavors, but um, you know, I have found over the years that when you try these, what you, what you taste in the tasting when you're trying to put it together um, doesn't always match up to what you end up with in the bottle. Uh, it's kind of a guess. So anyway, uh, and sometimes they've turned out way better than what I thought they would be. And sometimes they're they're disappointing. And uh, I'm, I just fresh cracked this one right now. So let's just dive right into it. 110.5 proof. So I'm getting a lot of like vanilla buttercream here. A little bit of like a fresh corn note. Um, kind of like a maybe a corn nut or a corn chip. Definitely like a really strong fresh cut oak, um, almost like sawmill. And then just like, I don't know, le like leather jacket. Yeah, a lot of spice. A lot of spice, a lot of fresh corn, a lot of vanilla. Pretty right on point for Maker's Mark, actually, in terms of just their basic profile. All right, let's have a sip. Mm. Wow, mega spice bomb. Was not expecting how much spice that would have. Um, black pepper, anise, licorice, clove. Um, not so much cinnamon. It's not really like, it's not baking spice. It's like, it's like a much more aggressive spice. I, I really, really, really like it. Um, man, you know, this, this tastes out more like a 120, 125, but it's not hot. It's just like really, really flavorful. Um, huge like black pepper spice bomb more black pepper more more licorice um it's got a really like sweet kind of clove profile that's developing now gosh i would have expected from the nose that it would taste really sweet um because it has that kind of corn note um you know there's no indication really of the of the clove and the and the spice on the nose it's got more of that buttercream vanilla note but man it is a spice bomb for sure one more sip mm. oh man yeah something about these weeders at that close to that 107 proof that one this is 110.5 so this would benchmark pretty well against like a Russell's Reserve 10-year single barrel um, I mean I thought these were maybe a little high priced um, a couple years ago I don't think that anymore I think they are they consistently deliver the quality uh, for around 70 bucks you're getting a ton of flavor um, even though it's sort of still experimental in nature, it's not finishing experimental, which can go either way. You still have the core bourbon flavor profile there, but just tweaked a little bit here and there. Uh, a little more spice, a little more sweetness, um, a little more oak, but the oak is really well integrated into the base spirit. Um, and the flavors you're getting are just fantastic. So look for the Big Red Liquors Match Stick Single Barrel uh, out in stores. And if you see it, crack it and then let me know what you think. Cheers.